your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Join today for less than $5 a month. We'll waive the membership admission fee. And as a special bonus, you'll receive a $25 Visa gift card. That's a combined value of up to $101 for only $56 for an annual membership. So don't wait another second. Call to join AAA right now. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 5 a.m., we're hearing from a woman who was assaulted while walking on a Long Beach sidewalk in the middle of the day. She's not happy with how the DA is handling her case. It'd be nice to be able to have someone where I can have a shower and, like, a bed to lay in. Plus, one of L.A.'s most notorious homeless encampments is being cleared out. We hear from those benefiting from the move. And breaking the bank at the bowl? Not anymore. What L.A. County is doing to make sure that tickets at the Hollywood Bowl are affordable. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. I'm Leslie Sykes along with John Gregory and Rachel Brown. It's already a great venue because you can it bring is. your own food. Yes, and everything. I think you can even bring, like, a bottle of wine mm -hmm. if you want. You can. It's, it's a great right. setup. And it's good to hear they're making it cheaper. Yeah, I love that place, too. Yeah. Hey, good morning. This is what it looks like today. If you're heading out the door downtown Los Angeles, you're going to get up to about 69 degrees. A little bit of drizzle out there this morning. So if you are waking up and walking out the door, some of that drizzle that we're seeing is over into the Van Nuys area. We're looking at it pretty damp on some of these roadway conditions, although there are plenty of places that are dry. Orange County, you didn't see much this morning, but the opportunity for drizzle still remains. So I'm not taking that out of the forecast. Orange County, 69 degrees. Inland Empire Valley communities, you're going to make it up to about 70. We have some clouds returning. We have some partly cloudy skies by the afternoon. And then you head out towards the coastline, about 68 degrees, the mountains making up to 59 and then those high desert areas are going to climb up to about 70 degrees as we head into your afternoon today windy weather drizzle tomorrow there's a huge hurricane out towards mexico we're going to talk about uh, just an unusual turn of events there and brianna ruffle is in right now taking a look at traffic over to you brianna good morning we have an abc7 traffic alert over into the long beach area but the good news is uh, the latest update is that it is not causing any freeway lanes to be blocked That's March through downtown LA today. Thousands of workers from dozens of hotels are expected to take part. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel live in downtown LA with the latest. Jaysha. Good morning, Rachel, Leslie, and John. That march is planned for 9.30 this morning across downtown LA. We can expect to see hundreds, maybe even thousands of striking hotel workers from about 50 different hotels. Now, this march comes after union reps say that the hotel workers say that their negotiation meeting last week did not go well. Now, Unite Here Local 11 reps say that hotels did not improve their offers for new wages, pension, or health insurance. This march also comes after the loss Angeles County District Attorney's Office has launched an investigation into the working conditions at several hotels where workers are on strike. The investigation started because of claims that migrant workers living on Skid Row are being used to replace striking workers. This march is also happening at the same time non-nursing health care workers like EMTs and lab techs are on strike over at Providence St. Joseph's Medical Center in Burbank. Now today is day three of their five-day strike over what they call unfair labor practices. They say they're striking because of understaffing, worker turnover, and patient care concerns. And hospital officials say they've offered the union what they believe is a generous package with significant wage increases, but they say they'll return to the bargaining table after the strike. Back out here again, that hotel workers march that's happening here will start at 930 at the corner of 6th and Hill Street. Live in downtown LA, Jaysha Patel, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you very much for that, Jaysha.
Meantime, SAG-AFTRA is set to continue talks with Hollywood Studios today. According to Deadline, the latest proposal by the studios involves a new take on success-based compensation for streaming shows. The striking actors are demanding wage increases, protections against the use of their images through AI, and improvements in health and retirement benefits. They have been on the picket line since July. A woman who was sexually assaulted in Long Beach is now...